Whenever I think about doing this, I don't know how to um, start it. <laughs> I just kind of, I'm gonna sit here and... Hi, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. It's like an America thing. You know, get better at <laughs> being mindful of what we're celebrating and what the origin of it is, but I don't think it's ever bad to like gather with your friends and be grateful. My bags are being weird, weird and at yourself like this, so sorry that I'm just. Hi, hi, welcome. <laughs> hi, welcome. This is Sam. This is my little nephew. So like, my brother and sister-in-law rescued Sam. We looked at so many dogs in the shelter, and he was just like the sweetest, most perfect. We knew immediately. He pooped. Hi guys. Um, do you have any questions that I I'm a boy. Oh, can I do this? What is this? I wash it in a week. But thanks. Um, it's funny because it's like I cut the layers into it, or I had Kristen S cut the layers into it and just wanted to make sure that all summer if I like was traveling a bunch and humped out, hopped out of the shower better um what other projects do you have in mind doing for the future so i have a film that i did last year that is going to be coming out soon i don't know next year and it's really really great and, and then i have one that i'm shooting early in the year as well will you adopt another dog i love jim so much and it's tricky with our schedules. I want to make sure I can really be a good, like, responsible person. Um, but he's really all that I need and love. I definitely am open to it in the future. Hi, cutie. All right, well, something I'm grateful for is fluff and cuddles. Someone that just truly wants to be right up next to you. <laughs> um, it's really nice. I woke up and my cat was like little spooning me. It was very sweet and wholesome. Your internet is so bad, I know, trust me. I think I'm on the wrong one, to be honest. Hi, Julie. Are you gonna keep the podcast going? I am, yeah. So we're launching next year with like the season two of the podcast, which is essentially, you know, season one was uh, my insatiable castmates and Lauren Gussis and creators. And so while all those conversations were super important and so fun, it was a great launch. Now we're gonna move into one that is like a little bit more uh, in the direction and in line with the sort of conversational tone and it's just gratitudes and talking with people that are inspiring. How do you choose your outfit every day? That's a good question. I have not worn the same outfit twice in 15 years. Um, I just, it, it is like a thing with my brain where I can't do it. Um, so I just am constantly thinking of like different combinations of things and like what emphasizes what and what I like and, um, practicality, like thinking of what I'm doing that day. And if I want to be able to kind of move quickly and slip into a workout or slip into a super nice event or a super nice place, kind of being able to calibrate every stuff like that. Um, Hi. So Thanksgiving I'm doing Saturday, which is why I'm doing this today. Um, and if you guys are doing Thanksgiving today, thanks for being here. Um, how's the wedding planning going? It's good. It's a lot to think about. And, you know, we have a lot of friends and loved ones and people in mind. And so it's encouraging because it's like there are so many ways to go with it. And the biggest piece of advice that I've gotten is just to make it us. So I'm doing that and it's been fun. Um, sorry, you're going to sleep. I want to do a couple gratitudes as well. So I don't know if you guys have ever listened to There You Are, the podcast. It's so fun and I really love doing it. I love people. I love believing in people. Um, I love starting conversations and kind of getting into it. And I think asking people what they're grateful for is something that um, lets you know a lot about someone's priorities and what they care about. And it does kind of force us to reconcile like anything that we want to fix or change would be better. Um, understanding at like at the base level how fortunate and lucky we are just to even have complaints um, so that's been nice 
dream podcast guest. I would love Dwayne Johnson. I mean, you guys know. He's my father. I love him. I mean, I have an incredible father who's like my father father. And uh, the, the only person that could almost compete with him is The Rock. I think The Rock rocks. Or Dwayne Johnson. Does Velma get along with Jim? Yeah. Jim and Velma play different ways, so it kind of is abrasive. But yes, for all intents and purposes, they do. Um, she likes to, like, bop him if he gets too close. And she also, like, you know, he just, like, wants to interact. But he's very gentle, very, like, soft and gentle. And so she'll just kind of, like, be like, okay, I'll show you where you can pet me and scratch me. Um, Velma's downstairs. I can get her. Do you like to be famous? I like to be able to work. I like to um, see the connectivity of the world and how small the world is and how many people we can reach just by like having sincere conversation and doing the thing that I love. I think that there are obviously some inconveniences and some challenges, but such is life with everything. And um, people give me stuff for free a lot and that's cool, I guess. Um, what else is cool about being famous? Uh, when I leave my dog home alone, I get to put my TV shows on so he can hear my voice and not forget what I sound like. Um, what inspired you to start a podcast? I have always been all about like having really interesting conversations with cool people. And I every time I meet someone cool or hear someone's music or see someone's movie, and I'm like, oh, wow, that person has a really distinct point of view and knows who they are and what they like. It makes me want to just sit and be like, tell me everything. Who are you? And I think a podcast is a really cool format to do that. I just am a big fan of podcasts. I listen to them all the time. Every time I'm in the car, um, I'm often listening to podcasts. If I'm home, I used to have like story night and we would just like sit around and listen to NPR. Look at this dog hair that's on me. Um, yeah. Can't relate. Listen. I did not say it was a relatable question. I just was answering the question I was given. But also anyone with social media, I think to some degree can, can relate to like the pressures of like putting forth and acknowledging and honoring a public narrative and like how that can so quickly get twisted and the amount of comparison in that and challenges. It's tricky. Um, let's see. She's in Texas. That's true. Um, I'm at my brother and sister in law's place. Who would you want to have on the podcast? Yeah, I just did that. Hi, Chase. Are you gonna dye your hair back to red ever again? I'd like that. I dyed it, we wrapped Sweet Life kind of suddenly and I dyed it red just so I could do a change from whatever I was like contractually obligated to do with my hair and um, maybe walk around in a way where I just had like one day where I didn't get recognized. So I was like, oh, if it's red, like, It'll be different and distinct. And and during that, I started developing Jesse, And then I pitched Jesse, and it got picked up. And we cast the kids around me having red hair and designed the show around it. So it kind of just stuck. It really was like a choice because I loved it and wanted to keep doing it. So I would love to redo it. Um, howdy. All right. So I want to do how many piercings have you got? Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> My eyeliner's busted. One, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes. Um, what about your dude tattoo? I do have a tattoo of the word dude. I will confirm that on my body. Any music recommendations? I like Anderson Pack. I like Charlotte Lawrence. I like Patrick Watson. Uh, I've been getting back into Brooke Fraser, who I love so much. I think is really great. My dog's name is Jim. That dog's name is Sam. That's not Jim, my dog. Um, which person do you want most on your podcast? Listen, there's a lot of people that I'm surrounded by in my life who I would love to have on my podcast. People I'm really inspired by. Um, I think it'd be so, you know, fun to have my brother on it and 
just kind of see how we interact and like interact. He's just the best and he produces it and edits it and helps with the music. And so he's just sharp and smart and he gets it. And he's very like, don't put me on camera. I don't want to do that now. So I don't know if he would ever do it, but I, it's like my goal to get him to do it. Um, similar with my lover. I think it'd be very cool, but in the right timing. Um, let's see. I'd love to have my friend Emma on it. I'd love to have my friend Jenna on it. I would love to have um, a girl named Keisha who was our eating disorder specialist on Insatiable. I would love to have a conversation with her. Have you got a tattoo or would you get a tattoo in the future? Yeah, so I have, this is so stupid. My tattoos are all really dumb, but I have this, um, which is a little dagger. It's a stick and poke that I got to cover this alien stick and poke that I gave myself. And then I have this, which is a V for visitors. This, which is a cactus and this little square. Um, and so my friend and I gave each other this square, just like with safety pins. I used to like tattoo people a lot. And then this V, I also gave my friend, he had it on his hand. And then the cactus was also um, start writing again. Dude, I'd love to. It's hard to do uh, because I put a lot of pressure on it. And, you know, I wrote a speech the other day to present to Haley Kiyoko at the Trevor Project Gala. And it was like uh, going back over it and doing different drafts of it. It was like, oh, right. This is my favorite method of communication is the like kind of brain dump and then the precision in terms of like exactly shaping the words and the phrasing into what you're trying to convey. I miss it. Yay. I'm grateful for writing. I'm grateful for outlets. I'm really grateful for that. Um, when is your episode on Lily Singh's show airing? That's a great question. I'm sure that we will announce it soon. Um, I love Lily Singh. I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful that like TV is in a place where we are listening to people with cool voices and giving them platforms to where she can have someone on and communicate with them. I just think she's a rock star and I'm a fan of her. So I was really excited to be on that show. Uh, can you show us your earrings? They're gorgeous. Okay. This is just a, you know, whatever. This one is a chain. It's like Masoma, which these ones are as well. This little starburst is just an ear jacket. This is Regal Rose. It's a sword. It's a stud. This is also a little stud bar, which I'm going to switch out. And then these are rose gold and this is like a earring back and this is a forward. So this is like, these two are Jackie Aish and these three opal ones are as well. And then this is also a Masoma and so are these. Mm, and then little rings. I love the pod. It feels like talking to a friend. It makes me think about so many new things and create opinions about it. That's awesome. I mean, that's so exciting to me because I think that like, I've always been better by conversations with people or by listening to people have a strong point of view and deciding whether or not that checks out with me. I think even if you agree or don't agree with something that I say or someone says on my show, that's like the cool thing is it allows you room to figure out what checks out with your spirit and your heart and your conviction and being like, Oh, I need to think about this. Like, how do I actually feel about this? And it's, I mean, that is how we grow. That's how we challenge ourselves and think new thoughts. And that's how we like bring about kind of awakening and change. And um, even if you think about something and circle back to believing what you've always thought about it or believed about it, that's great. And now you know for a fact that that's how you feel about it. Um, if you could choose anyone to come to the podcast, living or dead, who would you choose? I would love to hear from people like Joan of Arc or... I'd love to hear from Harriet Tubman, like people who just have made really strong, bold choices on the right side of history and, uh, and put like their actions where, you know, it wasn't just about talking about what they believe. It wasn't about 140 characters and being mad at the right thing and going up and giving the right speech and telling people it's like fully going and doing the thing and representing that with your actions and your life and your death. Like that's, crazy and cool and that is like someone who I would love to talk to um write a book let's see I'm gonna put this here so that I can 
when's the next podcast january so we put a pause on it in the meantime i want to do like a couple bonus episodes of like things that we have. i worked out this morning and i truly just kept leggings on so sorry i don't dress up for you guys where's jim and jim's dad now it's thanksgiving they're with family favorite vine quote i only refer to avocado as shavakado so but also like and they were roommates um when's the next podcast judas i love that one too What do you like the most when you make a podcast? Oh, it's all the things that you guys don't see, unfortunately. It's like the sitting and talking and like pouring someone a glass of water, making them a cup of tea or pouring them a glass of wine and just being like, do you want to sit and talk? Like, what do you care about? What do you not want to talk about publicly? But what like should I know about you and your point of view that informs what we're going to talk about and how um, I can best represent you to the world and give you that kind of space? It's so fun and life-giving. I love your voice. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I screamed a lot as a baby, so I think that's why it's raspy. Why are you not a singer? Singers are athletes. Like, vocalists have to train. It's, like, so medically precise to be able to keep your voice strong. And I compulsively talk. And I, I drink coffee and do things that are just not good for your voice and I could not maintain it in that way. And also like, that's not, to me, like writing songs, that would be the only reason to be a singer is so that I could be the person who puts the voice behind what I write. But like, you know, that's the thing that like, people that are very good at it should do and dedicate their life to doing and people who don't care as much about it or like have another passion like acting and directing, like leave it to the people who, you know, whatever. I love your outlook on life, probably. I don't know. Um, how many time do you spend checking on your fan accounts? I look at my tagged photos sometimes just to make sure that I, I can untag myself. I also have like a couple people who go in and they'll look and see like if I'm tagged in something that's not me and it's inappropriate and they'll go and untag me. So by the time I get in there, I get to just see like very cool things. Art, cool edits, whatever. Um, do you do theater before? Yeah, that's how I started. Are you going to have Dak Shepard on your podcast? I love Dak Shepard. I love his podcast. That was kind of my foray into the world of podcasting. So it'd be very cool. I mean, I think he's incredibly busy. Um, he might be way too important. Remember when we begged you to start a podcast and you did? Yeah. I'm telling you, like, I listen to whatever mediums you guys like to. I'm like, what do you, how do you want to absorb it? There's a lot of people who still don't rock with podcasts. So I hope that you guys take this opportunity now to go into like Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts and just subscribe to it. Uh, Cause we'll bah, 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 put ones up in the next year. Do you have any other comedians you like other than Mike Birbiglia? Birbiglia, Birbiglia. Um, I love him, obviously. I like John Mulaney. I, um, I like Eliza Schlesinger. Uh, Chelsea Peretti is so smart and clever. I love Kate McCucci. I love Lauren Lapkus. I mean, I don't know. It's all women. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm going to just take this opportunity. Beauty tips could you give to people? Dude, vitamin E oil. Although, I did just get this new lip gloss. It's like... these beauty counter jellies they have like little baby ones and they taste like this one's like orange cream but it's like so good and not sticky and i like those and i just think like that a little bit of like vitamin e oil on your cheekbones and on your lid will shine flick fluff up your brows with like clear mascara or elmer's glue obviously i love like l'oreal con concealer and foundation what else that's it <laughs> Rest, drinking water, gratitude is a big beauty tip. How do you stalk us on Twitter or Instagram? More than you know. Um, so it is Thanksgiving and I like to do this all the time and I started out doing a little bit of it, but I want to just kind of rapid fire things that I am grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. 
Um, I have two parents that are alive and lovely and care about me. And uh, it can be easy to think about like, oh, here are the ways in which I feel misunderstood or here are the ways in which we need to work on this. But my parents are really lovely and have always made the effort to just want the best for me. And that's the most thing that you can ask for. Um, I'm grateful for little paws, little fluffs and animals. I mean, my cat like brings me a lot of joy. I'm grateful for my brother. He's a good dude and he's my best friend and all throughout growing up and life changing and being weird, he has been my best friend and he has been like one of the only consistents. So I'm grateful for him. Um, I'm grateful for serotonin. It's elusive sometimes and it messes with my mind. So I like to be able to um, regulate it. I'm grateful that I have found some things that help, whether that's like moving my body, going for a walk, getting fresh air, being around fluffy animals, going to an animal shelter, looking at memes. I'm grateful for gratitude. It has changed my life. Um, what else? Let's see. I prefer this little community on live than so much more than the Instagram on your main account. I know. I think that like people who show up for the things are just a larger concentration of like sincere people who want to like have a cool conversation. Have Josh on. Ask him. What is the similarity between you and Patty? So I, Patty is very driven. <laughs> She's kind of like once you start the train from moving, it's hard to stop. I'm very, very loyal to a fault and also I can pretty easily forgive a grudge, but if like you wronged me, there are like two people, one or two people that I have not like, I've forgiven, but I have no interest in ever seeing them again and like, it, you know, and everyone else that I feel has like hurt me or taken advantage of me or like, you know, the things that happened to us, I'm fine with. So I would say Patty and I both are very loyal. I, if you mess with my family or someone that I love, my relationships, if you twist my voice and my feelings about things, that's much harder for me to forgive. And I know Patty's the same way. We both have a justice thing. We both want to like make things right as much as possible, which gets her into some trouble. And she's been a good cautionary tale for me. Um, and we both like have dealt with disordered eating stuff and have like really weird body image stuff. Um, you have a lot of tattoo, true. What other languages can you speak? So I used to be fluent in German when I lived in Germany. I'm really grateful for travel. That's the thing that I'm super grateful for. Travel, like, that is the biggest luxury, man. Like, travel's everything. I think that, like, the more of the world that I see, the more that I realize how small the world is. Um, hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Now I want to know if he, like, said anything weird up there. Jordan, what'd you say? Would you like to have matching tattoos with your dude, Josh? What if I told you I did? Um, do stick and pokes hurt, especially on the hand? I think so, but... And don't do this. I'm not suggesting it. But when you give yourself a tattoo, you're more focused on the giving of the tattoo than the, like, pain of the receiving of the tattoo. So it's actually, like, fine. Um... What is your favorite 21 Pilots song? That's hard. It fluctuates. I like Morph a lot. Um, I've always loved, like, Ode to Sleep or Migraine. Forest and Trees are really special to me. I don't know. Um, another thing I'm grateful for is I, like, have a hard time prioritizing the doing things for myself. I know like a lot of you guys deal with that too. So it's kind of like work or whatever I'm contractually obligated to do. And then, you know, seeing my family and friends enough and whatever. Um, so like going to like the movies or going to a concert is a thing that I rarely do. Being in a relationship with a person who puts on the best show that exists right now in music forces me to be able to like, if I want to visit him and see him at work, I get to see like, one of the most intuitive and strong bands of our generation put on a very cool interactive show that like from every place in any part of the crowd just never gets old. Like every seat in the house is an incredible seat and 
I've seen it from everywhere and it's so impressive. So like it kind of has made me fall in love with seeing shows again and seeing music again. And that I'm really grateful for as well. It's so inspiring from a production standpoint, from a performance standpoint. Yeah. Um, Insatiable versus Jesse. What is your favorite? That's tricky. I'm really grateful that Disney trusted me to develop and produce Jesse. I'm super grateful that they let me shadow the directors and the writers and get into the directing guild directing that show. It was like, huge and exciting for me um and so my involvement in that was different than insatiable insatiable definitely i'm grateful for elements of that which are a place to put my particular damage surrounding body image and food and stuff and um just identity and self-value and whatever yeah riptide that's funny are you excited? Are you speaking in another language? You prefer Twitter or Instagram? Instagram, I think. I like Twitter in terms of, like, gathering information and hearing about things. News, if there's, like, an earthquake or fires, I know that I'm grateful for Twitter. But in general, Instagram allows me to create a more well-rounded <laughs> voice, I think. Oh, yeah, how's the Ryan Murphy shadowing thing going? It was so fun. An amazing time. I shot out on 911 on Fox. Um, there was an episode where it's out, so I feel like I'm not spoiling it. But uh, a car, basically the opening scene is like a car hits a fire hydrant. The fire hydrant goes off. A house explodes and like shoots up like a Roman candle because the gas leak like lines under it have like ignited um and that has happened like pop, 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 across a cul-de-sac so then they get a water tanker and they fly it over and dump like twenty thousand pounds of water or whatever on it and uh extinguish the fire and they have all these fire trucks and i mean it was unbelievable watching someone direct that it was huge um how do you put up with hate uh, what hate <laughs> honestly I hear it enough in my head, so if I hear it outside my head, I'm like, I don't care. That doesn't have any place in my... Like, you can't say anything to me that I haven't already said to myself. Not that that's, like, a good thing, but it doesn't shock me. It doesn't, like, get me. It used to hurt a lot, but it's fine. Um, happy birthday, Monday. Does it seem like a year since Josh proposed? Either it seems like a month or five years. <laughs> I get very excited about it. Twitter stands in the chat. Um, Alright, what else? What else? What are you guys grateful for? I would say that I'm also grateful for the ability to go for a walk. I went for one this morning and it got my head right. There's a lot of people in my life who do not have the luxury and the privilege of being fully able bodied and being able to go for a walk and finding that joy in that place. And I have kind of spent enough time around people that I loved and um I have just like such a grateful perspective for that it's huge it's so exciting um, what do you do to treat your hair and keep it healthy oh man I wash it once a week I try not to put heat on it more than once a week um I shampoo the top but not the bottom so it doesn't dry it out and I condition the bottom all the way up and not the top so it doesn't get greasy so I can go a week um and then sometimes instead of like flat ironing it or putting a curling iron on it or something, I'll just go like this and hair dry it. I'm grateful for you guys. I love that there's just a tail floating behind you. Sam! Come here, kiddo. Come here! Come here! Hey, little doge. Um, you guys should see Sam Wise. I think it's Sam the Wise. I'll put on his Instagram. His Instagram so cute. He's so cute. Um, I'm grateful for my freedom. Yeah, me too. Wow, me too. I'm grateful for, like, uh, freedom and, you know, living in a free country. But also, ooh, I'm grateful for freedom from things that used to be, I used to not be free from. And I gave a lot of my life to, you know, whether that's, like, self-hatred and really really bad depression that i just kind of like hid and didn't feel like i was allowed to have so i just didn't acknowledge it and was hoping it would go away um i'm grateful for freedom from bitterness for things that like really hurt me 
Um, yeah. I love I'm grateful for freedom. Uh, I'm grateful for connection. Connection's huge, right? That's what we're doing here. That's what everyone's looking for. When we go to concerts, when we go to um, churches, when we go to clubs and extracurriculars and hobbies and the internet, uh, we're looking for connection. Does it bother you if a fan comes up to you while you're working on set? It doesn't bother me. I think that, you know, there will be times where I'll be like, I'm so sorry. I just owe it to the hundred people here that I do my job, but it doesn't like bother me. I just don't want to ignore someone. And also I don't want to not fulfill my obligations, my responsibility and be focused. So it just kind of puts me in a position where I want everyone to be happy and it makes me feel weird, but I'm not like bothered. Grateful for trust. Trust is huge. It's so hard and it's hard to rebuild once you've lost it. And it's so important. I think it's like the basis of everything. Mm, favorite eyeliner. L'Oreal has a really good one. I just got Victoria Beckham's new one at Violet Gray and it's so good as well for like a pencil. I'm grateful for music. It's my safe place. I'm grateful because I can be myself. I'm grateful for being alive. I'm also grateful for being alive. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> It's hard, but I'm really grateful that we still are her. I'm also grateful you're alive. Um, graduating school, being alive for my family, for music, and for you. Yes, heck yeah, graduating. Dude, schools, I'm grateful any of us have been able to have it, but also made it out. Grateful for Alabama, me too, because I was born there. Um, grateful for art, yeah. I mean, again, like connection and outlets, right? Those are huge. I'm grateful for personal development and become a person I like. Dude, I'm grateful that we're all better than we used to be. Hopefully, I am and the people around me are, and I didn't know if it was ever possible. I'm grateful for recovery. I'm grateful for your recovery as well. I'm grateful for forgiveness, yeah. Being able to do simple things, totally. My friends and every nice people I know. Yeah, the same. Oh no! You guys, I'm not, like, a tech guy. I don't know. Like, it's oh, obviously. Um, grateful for having a support system when I was getting bullied. Yeah. Bullying is the worst. And all you really need is, like, one or two good people who support you. Grateful for my siblings. Siblings are huge. Grateful for being single. Heck yeah. Honestly, even if you're being sarcastic, <laughs> I'm also grateful for your, that you're single. Because every moment that I was single prepared me to be able to be in like my dream relationship right now and it made me like learn what love is and the times at which you're not you know you're kind of being able to focus on yourself and give yourself what you need and understand your needs and boundaries and then take that into a relationship it's key um and it's just like allowed me to be so grateful for the relationship that I have I like I really feel like I couldn't be luckier Grateful for musical theater, same. Grateful for your job in Insatiable and help my life, thanks. Cool, for movies, yeah. Grateful for true love, yeah. Grateful for acceptance, rainbow flags. I'm grateful that you are living out loud and as who you are and that we're living in a world that is like increasingly more and more accepting of that and that we can all just see love as love. I'm really grateful for people like you who are so bold and making the strong stance to just quietly exist in your own autonomy. That's a really hard thing to do sometimes, um, especially in regards to sexuality in the world that we're in. So I'm really grateful for pride. Mm. I'm grateful for still being alive. I'm grateful you are too. I'm grateful for naps. Gosh, I'm grateful for naps. Wow, I'm grateful for naps. Usually napping is the only time I sleep. It's just like a midnight nap. For being how I want to be. Sweet. Mm. Friendship teachers and everyone. Wow. I have a lot of incredible teachers in my life in different areas. Different people teach me how to do different things. You know. My friend Steph teaches me how to find little joys in things. My friend Emma teaches me how to like be uh, organized and fulfill their obligations, but also find like such moments of joy and happiness and loyalty and be so selfless for other people. Um, my friend Jenna teaches me how 
to exist in a world and reconcile like being a woman of your own identity and also finding yourself in being a support system with men who are doing incredible things and I just feel like I have a lot of teachers in a lot of different areas of my life my friend Maggie is a directing mentor of mine teachers are huge friendship is huge I'm so grateful for those grateful for my family grateful for having my lovely God yes yes <laughs> it's very important to have God if you believe in a higher power I mean it's it's important just to think about something that's bigger than us and that existed before us and will exist outside of us and whether you believe in parallel universes or I um, that this is a simulation and that there is a real world somewhere in which our minds are in a pod <laughs> and we are just avatars of that. It's very important. I'm going to pretend I'm American to celebrate it anyway. So here's a cool thing. I don't love Thanksgiving because I have had a lot of, I mean, first of all, it's like a, a whitewashing, <laughs> like it's just such a twisted narrative in terms of like what Christopher Columbus did and how we reclaimed America and it's beautiful and I'm grateful to live in America, so grateful to live in America and also like there was a lot of blood that was shed so that we could be here. So celebrating that feels a little bit tone deaf and irreverent and also food is tricky. Um, for a lot of people and I think that there's a lot of unhealthy behaviors and voices surrounding food on a day like today so I don't necessarily love Thanksgiving but I love the idea of gratitude and I think we can do it every day yeah um, you haven't thought about taking a girl trip with Jenna you know what's so funny about my friendship with Jenna I try not to like speak out of turn but there are so many times that we've hung out that we've like gone on little car trips and road trips away from the venue together that we've like seen each other that we've shared a room at a wedding that like we just have I have a lot of time with her which I really cherish and I always wish that I had more but like we've spent a lot of time together and I got a lot and people are just like how come you never hang out with them and I'm like mm. oh I think that just because we don't constantly post about each other doesn't mean that like we don't I mean it's the same thing with any of my friends I see my friends and my family way more than most people know so just because you don't see it doesn't mean that these aren't people that I absolutely adore and I'm grateful for time with um grateful that most people see me for my personality and not the color of my skin I'm grateful for that as well I'm really grateful for that I think like everyone deserves that chance everyone deserves that freedom and some of us have that privilege a little bit more than others of us and I think like the fact that you get to exist in a world and in a community and in a friend circle and in a life where you are able to lead with who you are on the inside and not be kind of judged by or qualified by what you look like it's beautiful um dude it's so funny to me when people just like post oh my god period preach all in caps Oh, 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 I don't know what you're referring to. It's all in a lag. Is it weird having friends be pregnant? I'm only three years younger, though. It seems so far away from me. So it's interesting. I have a bunch of friends who either have had babies or been, like, through the process, had kids before I met them or uh, were married before I met them or whatever. So it's kind of like this round of people in my life who have already done it and already are, like, beautiful, successful parents. And then now people in my community, it's happening as well. Um, and some of these people are also ahead of me in other areas so it's not like I'm like you know but it's definitely it's funny because it's these are people who I have always like seen my friend Kara right now like she's so very pregnant and Spencer and Kara I've seen through a lot and I've known them before they were together separately and then watch them get together and watch them figure out love and marriage and nail it and they're so good at it and being support systems for each other and then becoming parents they're like so good at it so it's so crazy to see the people around me go through this process and I just think like everyone in my life that there's three or four women in my life that are in their second or third trimester right now and they're all so they're built for it like they're at the place in their life where they're gonna kill it I don't worry at all about it I'm bringing gazpacho to my family's Thanksgiving dinner because of you I appreciate you I was thinking about making it this year for Thanksgiving and now what if I do I might mm. Pregart? Is she pregnante? Is she pregante? 
And if you haven't seen that video, that's a video, but you can just, whatever. Um, have you thought about a YouTube channel? No. All right. Let's go back to gratitudes. And then I have to go. It's been like 45 minutes. And I'm going to spend time with my family. Um, and you guys should spend time with your family too. Where's your shirt from? Uh, and philanthropy, I believe. They have a really good ethical footprint, which is nice. I like, if I buy new clothes, I usually thrift, but if I buy new clothes, I like things that pour back into the world and make it better. What is something that you are looking forward to in the future? Having a little bit of time off. I have um, several months worth of stuff, but after that, it looks like I might be, like, I don't know. We'll see. But I don't, I'm don't. i looking forward to having time off and be with our friends and family and stuff. Go live here soon. Yeah, I think if I go live, I'll probably just go live here because I like the There You Are community a lot. Um, but I do want you guys to go on the po photo or whatever that I posted on There You Are that says, like, I'm doing gratitude today. And I want you to comment who you want on the podcast. I want you to comment questions that you want to answer. And also, if you can just write on there, like, something that you're grateful for, I would love to know. Grateful for learning drums, six month anniversary. I'm also grateful you're learning drums. I do not personally play the drums, but I've seen them be really, really instrumental and really important in people's lives and they're very cool. For recovery and staying clean from past vices I used to struggle with. I'm also grateful that you're in recovery and that you have like found yourself outside of those. And now you've set yourself up to be able to Absorb happiness and feel the whole spectrum of feelings in a good and bad way. And it'll be worth it. I'm proud of you. Grateful for you showing me light in the darkness. It's always there, if you look. It's always there. It's hard. Um, sometimes it feels like it's a, an entire room of darkness and just a pinprick of light. And it can be so uh, difficult to focus on it or to want to focus on it. It's so important. Grateful for the gaze. Same. I don't know who I would be without... Community. 11, 10. Do I have a bath? Okay, have a bath. Grateful for family, friends. Existence of Harry Potter. It's good work. True. Grateful I finally learned how to ask for help. That's so huge. That's such a good one. I'm still working on it, <laughs> to be honest. It's really hard to do, and it's so brave, and it's very uh, self aware to do. You, you owe it to yourself. Grateful for my friends. Grateful for Lena. Great. Michaela, Lena, I'm grateful for both of you. And Uma, what's up? And Helen, grateful for you guys. Grateful for everything God is giving me. Me too. Having a house and food. I'm so grateful. I have a beautiful home. I get to have very, very nice meals. Um, I get to enjoy, you know, like, it used to be such a treat to go and, like, order off the dollar menu at, at Taco Bell McDonald's. And now I can kind of do that and, and not worry about it. And I feel really lucky for that and I feel really grateful for that and I can go and have a nice meal and get something for like my loved ones and be so like, just able to do that grateful for my therapist also grateful for your therapist grateful for my best friends I'm so grateful for my best friends I have my best friend Emma I'm so grateful for her I don't know I truly don't know who I would be and what I would be about if it weren't for her and same thing with my best friends Jill and Sam and Steph Chris Haran, my brother, my lover. Grateful mm -hmm. Hold on. that I'm living in a time where I don't have to feel alone in my struggles. Me too. That's the beautiful thing about, I mean, the internet. As much as it's changed a lot of things, like we're finally able to find a community of other people that are just like us and that experience similar things or that are a lot different than us and experience similar things in a different way or different things in a similar way and um brings the world together a lot women are fighting for rights and we are achieving even slowly i think so too we are getting very close to gender pay parity i uh for the first time uh this year received equal pay as my male counterpart um, at work, which was very exciting, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, or like, yeah, almost. Grateful to tell my friends my problems. Grateful for a world where self-love is encouraged. Yeah, yeah. You know, I used to be afraid of friendship and telling them what's up because I was, uh, I didn't want to burden anyone. 
and I feel lucky that I don't have that problem now. I could tell my friend Stacy, like, I, I can't talk I right now. Hey, I'm tell my friends my problems. It's just scary. Mm, what's your favorite airhead flavor? White or blue? White is just mystery flavor. Like, it's just another flavor. Grateful for my mom. I'm also grateful for my mom. Grateful I get to thrive in a male-dominant career. Come on. Preach. Same. That you play an amazing character. I like like play oh, my gosh. She's really about it today. Grateful you're live on Insta. Thanks. I'll work on it. My parents are my twin sister. Grateful I'm going to be an aunt. Congratulations. I know, like, the amount of emotional and really, like, invested I was in two pregnancies that have happened very with people close to me in this last year. I didn't anticipate, like, having it hit me like that. And I know when my best friend Emma gets pregnant and my brother gets pregnant, my brother's wife gets pregnant and their family gets pregnant, I'm going to dissolve. Yeah. Sarah going up. Grateful for you. Um, all right, I'm going to do 10 and then I'm going to leave. So I'm grateful for my lungs. They haven't failed me and I've put them through a lot. Um, you know, I have asthma and I do aerobic stuff and I've been in places with terrible air quality and I've just put them through a lot and they are so nice to me. They show up for me. They keep me going. So my lungs, I'm grateful for, um, healing, you know, that we can choose to do the tricky thing and move on from something and let go of bitterness and scars. And that slowly when you look at that area, you realize like it actually hasn't been broken or damaged or messy in a long time. And, um, grateful for that. Grateful for media. You know, that if we want to listen to a podcast or watch a TV show or movie that we can like hear and learn and think new thoughts and laugh and feel less alone and that's cool and grateful for you guys that I ought to say that I want to go live on a thing and you guys watch me just like sit on the floor and sit from the smug um and that we can like have this cool little community and you guys are from everywhere in the world and you show up for me whether it's at JFK or you're all the way here from Mauritius or whatever I'm grateful for that Grateful for Star Wars emotion, feeling, just reading some of these. Um, I am grateful for tomatoes and anything tomato based. I like gazpacho. I like tomato soup. I don't love ketchup, but pretty much everything else that toma tomatoes work with, I'm happy about that. Grateful for crying. That's good. I might steal that. Yeah, I'm grateful just to be able to release. I used to feel like I had to hold things in and like shove them down and I'm learning to kind of like let some air into them and let some light into them and that's very nice. Um, I'm grateful that in my really mentally dark moments that I did not believe the lies that I was telling myself and that were told to me, um, that I have not let agoraphobia get the best of me, that I leave the house <laughs> and that, um, yeah, I mean, I'm grateful to leave the house. That like sounds like a joke, but I, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> It can be really hard and daunting to do and I'm grateful that I can do it and do it and have come back home every time. Um, I'm grateful for communication, you know, that there are so many different ways to kind of subsidize the generalizations that go out and to be able to round them out and put them out there in very cool ways. I'm realizing I'm grateful for a lot of things. I know it's crazy. When you start thinking about it, it actually like starts to happen. I'm grateful for water because it's like a life source and you can just pretty much find it in a lot of places. Uh, I'm really grateful that we have clean water. The Flint, Michigan water crisis has shown me a lot about that. And as well as like my travels to India and rural India and places like that. So I'm really grateful for water that I can just go to a faucet or whatever and drink and get energy and help my body heal its organs and have better sleep and energy. Um, grateful for, yeah, the combination of chocolate and peanut butter what a gift. What a beautiful gift. I'm, I'm grateful, grateful for holidays. holidays. I, I don't love holidays. holidays. I never have. I don't love like a commercial holiday and a sort of pressure to all get on the same page and care about something that we only care about because other people tell us to. But then recently I have realized that like with all of the division and all of the 
differences which we are highlighting so prevalently on social media and in the news that uh, there are a few things that internationally or as a nation we can all agree on and we all come together for and it looks different for everyone um, and we have our own version of it but that there is like there are touchstones of connection and I think holidays are that so I guess I'm grateful for that um, I'm grateful for creating cooking food and making coffee and writing something in a way that like when all the words are in your head or in your chest and they bump up against each other and they are trying to figure out the best way to come out because it's just concepts and they're just trying to find words that sort of fit them that there's a way to string them together and put them out that's I'm grateful for that um and I am grateful for Insatiable. It's been really fun. I love everyone. I feel so lucky. It's just a set full of people bringing who we are and what we've been through and our joy and our damage and we're all coming together and making a thing that is just wild and broad and funny and interesting but is not is irreverent but not disrespectful and is uh, very thoughtful and that allows us to be what we are. So I love that. Um... Alright. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I'm grateful for vitamin E oil. I'm grateful that, like, there's a thousand superfoods now, and if it's, like, oat milk or avocado or CBD or whatever it is, there's, like, so many things around us that we can, like, lean on and use and learn about. Um, grateful to have Lauren curating his issue. Me too. Me too. I'm... I know that she's been through a lot, but I'm grateful that she took all of that and created something so beautiful and cool and lovely out of it where we can just find a community. Um, and grateful for you because you said something straight from my own life and I needed it here. I love you. Um, Alright. Oh, thanks. I'm grateful you stay alive too. I'm very grateful for Jeff. I'm grateful for Old Milk. Um, Alright, well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And, I don't know, you're cool. And I think that you're worth, like, celebrating and fighting for. And it can be really hard to do. The more that your body cringes against the idea of writing down, like, three things you're grateful for in the morning and three things you're grateful for in the evening, the more you need to do it. And the more that you do it, the easier it'll get. And you'll start noticing throughout the day. So... I just want to challenge you today, this weekend, whenever, whether or not you celebrate Thanksgiving, whether or not you celebrate it today and you're done with it, just keep gratitude with you. I promise you will, people will tell you that your eyes are more beautiful because they show up, your skin will clear up, your crops will thrive. Uh, it's really a miracle worker. Gratitude is the thing that I should read a lot in my life too, and a lot of strength. So. All right. You guys rock. You can do whatever you want to do in your life. Uh, be responsible, have fun, love on your family. I um, do feel like I need to show you this. Hi, Kitty. All right, so just take that image with you as you know, go through your day. Um, and make sure that you subscribe to our podcast, Ruby Gay Podcast, because at the beginning of next year, we're dropping new episodes with a bunch of people. And in the meantime, comment and tell me who you want to hear me interview. Follow us, tell a friend about it. See ya.